Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octeo Studio and this is just a quick speed through of the live stream show that Peg Robinson and I do together on the Art Joy of Sharing live stream channel. That's a different channel than this. We have a, a channel that we do live streaming every Thursday at 1030 Central Time in the United States. Of course, that's different times everywhere where you live. That's 830 for me here, here on, you know, the, the West Coast. So every Thursday we're there. You can come join us, watch us live, talk in the chat. Of course, you can always watch the live stream show recorded later. But um, most of the time I do a speed through for my channel of just my portion of what we did on the show. And today it was collage artist trading cards. You know, this was just a pure playtime for me. I love collage. I don't care what you give me to glue paper to. I adore it. It is my favorite. I love to make compositions using any kind of scraps of anything. I found one vinyl ATC left from my pack that I had purchased from Shannon Green's store a while ago. And apparently she doesn't have any ATCs in her shop right now, but I'm sure that she would be glad to cut you some. Uh, if you ask, the ATC is three and a half by two and a half, and this is cut from a vinyl billboard scrap. She uses them to make all kinds of products, and uh, she has them over there in her Etsy shop. Um, journal covers and uh, keepers for supplies and bags and all kinds of stuff. And it's a great upcycling use of that stuff that would just get tossed it's, I think it's wonderful what she's doing. So I, I support it 100%. Um, I did have a pack of 10 ATCs and this is the last one left. So I decided to make a cityscape. And the, what, what's, what prompted me to do this was I was walking by my table where I have a guillotine cutter and I trimmed down paper with it. Whenever you trim any type of papers, you end up with a little strip left, right? It's just laying there, they pile up, then they fall onto the floor, and then there's a big pile of strips of paper on the floor. This happens to me, my studio is a mess. But I thought those would make a cute cityscape on an ATC because they're just, you know, lots of rectangles in a cityscape, lots of strips in a cityscape. So that's what I made. I collaged different pieces on there, um, different types of paper. There's uh, some kind of a postcard piece. There's uh, copper metallic cardstock, there's text weight paper, there is some paper that had little marks on it from when I was trying to align my printer heads. It just made little marks. It's kind of cool. Uh, there was a piece of paper that had what looked like probably a picture of cinnamon rolls or something. I can't really tell, but it's got some stripes on it. And uh, some gel printed paper, a scrap of a tag, just all kinds of stuff that I had collected right off the, the ledge there where my guillotine cutter is. So I trimmed them around. I've, I put them on there. Then I used some India ink markers. These are the Fabric Castell Pit Artist Brush Pins. And I blended those with my water brush to make some shadows and make it a little more interesting. And then I did just a tiny bit of line work with my new gray toned pins. I was showing that I thought they, the, the brand is funny. <laughs> it's, it's pen, right? These are pens and they're named pen, but it's then in the middle of the eye has one of those straight pins, like a ball head straight pin. So pen like a pen, pen like a pen. I thought it was funny. But anyway, they come, I have a 01 and an 05 in three different shades of gray now, and they are permanent markers. So I've been talking about wanting to get some gray markers, and I finally did. They're not Fabric Castell, but they work fine. So then I did put a little bit of a scrap of a sunshine on there just to make it a sunny day there in the city. And um, the reason I'm making a speed through is these ATs are not, ATCs are not part of the ATC a day challenge. I've already finished all my ATCs for that. I've already got all my videos set up. So these are just extras that you wouldn't see unless you watch the live stream. So that's the reason I'm doing the speed through. So the next one I did, I started with a piece of stamped tissue paper, and this was obviously stamped by someone who had made a hand-carved stamp. It's very chunky looking. And uh, I did a swap where we traded stamped images, and this was one of the images I received. I thought it would make an interesting background, so I just glued it onto uh, a pre-cut ATC that's made out of uh, watercolor paper, because that's what I normally make my ATCs out of, 140-pound watercolor paper. And they're cut three and a half by two and a half, and that makes ATCs. So then 
uh, before the show started, I had cut out these two little figures using a stencil from Stencil Girl that has little figures on it. And all I did was just trace them with a pencil on the back of the paper and then cut them out. And there's a male figure and a female figure. I also uh, punched out a circle from a piece of leftover painty paper that just had some yellowy, orangey colors on it. And I thought all those looked pretty good <clears throat> on that. I had also used some water-based brush markers to color the stamped image because I just thought it looked too plain and black and white. So I had made it, um, it kind of had what I thought looked like sun rays, but then I had the heart in the center and I ended up covering up the heart, but leaving the rays. So I made them sun colored. So then just some shadows with a uh, Stabilo all pencil blended with a water tank brush and a little bit of highlight with a white Posca pen. And then I wrote words that say, here come the sun around the top part of the sun. And that was the next ATC I completed for our collage ATC live stream show. So now this is a piece of a packaging that was sent to me by Bea Grobe in a mystery envelope. And she says that it's packaging for tangerines. I would have guessed cheese, but it's a very thin paper. So I had a little tip. If you need to, to fussy cut something that thin and tissuey, to glue it to another piece of paper. So I just used um, my ATC printout paper, the back of it. I glued it down. I fussy cut it out, which took me a minute. And then I'm making a scene for this little uh, knight on a horse to live on. I have a piece of green napkin, I have a piece of jelly printed bluish tealish colored paper, and then that dark paper that I tore is coffee stained paper and it had a it had almost like crunchy grounds on it. It was a really cool piece of paper. You'll be able to see it in the close up. I didn't realize it was coffee stained because I smelled it. It didn't smell like coffee, but then when I um, glued it down with my matte medium and then heated it, then I could smell the coffee. <laughs> so it smelled really good. So I made like a little mountain and stream scene for my little night to charge through on top of a gel printed background, which I printed with one of the ATC mix-up stencils from Stencil Girl. And I added some white highlights and a little bit of sh shadow, and that one was done. This one was one of the uh, backgrounds that I made. I was doing alcohol ink marbling, and it was just kind of ugly. And then I was working on my ATC for yesterday and I had some dark blue paint on the stencil and I just flipped it over and pressed it down onto the top of that ATC and it made an interesting background. So I decided to do some abstract collage on this one. I had a piece of purple and blue paper that I tore in glue. Uh, this other one, it was a that white piece with the pencil marks. I was making a drawing for my kid of what kind of thing I wanted to build out of wood to hold my camera over my desk. Right now I have one made out of um, PVC and it's it wiggles a lot. You'll notice it wiggles a lot. When I bump the table, it wiggles. I'd like to make one out of wood that's more sturdy. So this was a, just a drawing, a really crappy, simple drawing. And But when you tear it up, it makes interesting pattern. So I glued that on there. So now I have like kind of these liney shapes in the background. Then I had some leftover alphabet punched out letters from uh, a die that cuts all the letters at once. And you know, you only need a few of the letters, but you've now cut them all. What are you gonna do with them? You throw them in a little dish. Glued some of those on randomly and a little die cut fern type thing. And I did end up adding a word and some shadows to this as well. So there you have it for ATC number four. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment or question below. Subscribe, share, all those things help my channel grow. And if you want, you can come watch the recording of the live stream. So that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye. <music>